Okay, as you can see here, these are land crabs. Or we call them kalahimus. These buggers are small, but very, very tasty. If only they're a little bit bigger. They're very tasty, and if cooked right, very, very yummy. As you can see, some are dead. We put them in the freezer. Some have died, but uh, some have recovered out of the freezer just to put it in for like 20 minutes. Just to calm them up a bit before boiling them. So they don't fight like this one. So there we go. Oh. In the pot. You are getting some back to life. I want to put up a good fight. There they go. These Kalahimus, they're seasonal. So they come out around about June to July every year. That's when people go out and catch them at night time. By the roads, onto the bush. And look, most of these Kalahimus here are the female ones. And definitely the inside the heads, the very part of the body is going to be nice and fat for consumption. They're all females because of the round, you can tell by the round part underneath it. If it's like a, a triangle, if that roundish bit is more triangular, then it's a male one. And the male ones normally have like bigger nippers on them. Yeah, those nipples. But the female, these are the female ones. And the male ones normally come out first around about June, before the females later, which is around about now, in July. Mm -hmm. Here they are. They've been boiled. Oh, smell beautiful already. Just gonna add on some coconut cream to it. Coconut cream that we squeezed out before. Just gonna let it simmer a little bit. And a little bit of seawater. Give it a bit of saltiness taste. Can't wait to eat these later on. Kalahimu. So, Kalahimu time now. Bit of taro. The beauty of eating outdoors, share it with the dogs. Wow, check that out. The contents inside. Woohoo! What a wonderful taste! Too good. Some people they don't even bother with eating the legs. Sometimes it's taking too long. I just grab all the legs, chuck it all in my mouth, chew all everything, and just spit out the the shells. Some people don't even bother to just break the legs off and they just go for the heads or the backs like this. And just eat all the good stuff inside. So all those orange stuff in there. Those are the good bits to eat. Yeah, all those orange bits in there. There you go. Yeah, so I'm picking it out with my fork. And that's what you get. So this is what you get out of the back or the head. Ooh, some good stuff here. That's already soaked with the coconut cream that I was that was cooked in and. Top shelf stuff. 
look at this fella here. I prefer mine with the sauce. <laughs> Some chili in there. This is all. And then you just take it and chew it. Mm. Dip it in and bite, bite into it. Mm. Hmm? That's this. You just take them legs individually, bite off the top, then chew it. Squeeze out the meat. It's so small. If only they were a little bit bigger. I best just chew it. Mm -hmm. And usual, watermelon too. With all the rich pork earlier and all this rich coconut cream. Mm. So we're back here with just the tuke. Careful. You normally pick it out with a can you stick? <laughs> Just try and squeeze the meat out anyhow you can. And hold that meat there. Small but very very tasty. Oh, so yummy. Last one. Oh, last one on my plate. Break off the legs. Have them later. Awesome. Hmm, check that out. Even that one. Oh, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Beauty. Too good. I might just grab a few more. One or two. Or raw fish. We'll see. Or maybe I'll just leave it and have another round later on. But we're coming to the end of our video for today. Thank you very much for joining me on this video with today's Sunday lunch. And as always, also, we'll just take care out there. Until next time. Thanks. And as always, Peace.